Good afternoon everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day, smiling, laughing, having fun. And if you're not for some reason, hopefully I can help. You guys, life is way, way, way too short to not be laughing or smiling every single day. So if you're not doing either of those, you need to change something up right now. Now I am sure a few of you are very curious and wondering, Bug, what is going on with the Lamborghini right now? Why is the bumper sitting over there? Why is the bumper not even on the car? We're gonna get into that. Uh, but, but real, real quick, I need a tiny, tiny favor from all of you viewers. Go down down below and smash a fat like on today's video. You guys, smash a like as fat as these rear tires. I mean, come on, these things are no joke look at that we need the likes that fat so time to you know talk about what's missing um first of all though how do you guys think i know there's like kind of this no bumper trend type thing going around i personally i think it looks like a race car it looks sick with no rear bumper now don't get me wrong it would look much cooler if you've seen two giant juicy turbos sitting right here but you know we're not there yet so do you guys think it looks good without the bumper or do you think it looks like crap and the bumper needs to go back on ASAP I'm curious I want to know what you guys think so let me know I just really enjoy being able to see the fatness of the rear tire and then that pretty pretty exhaust I mean who wouldn't want to see that falling behind me okay for real though the real reason why the car is in a bunch of pieces is because of this. Now, if anyone watching this video has ever owned a Lamborghini Gallardo in you know, 2004, 2006, or probably any, any Gallardo to be real, you will probably know and understand what I'm about to talk about with this rear bumper. So if you look real close, You'll see the rear bumper has all these clips. It basically has an inner skeleton. I mean, it's kind of kind of hard to see, but it's got an inner skeleton that goes throughout the rear bumper. And that skeleton is designed with all of these clips, which hold all of the honeycomb vents to the back of the car, the ones that go under the tail lights, and then the ones that go over the actual exhaust and holds the exhaust tips. Well, all of those cones or all of those clips over time get really brittle from the heat and decide to just crack and say, adios amigos, I don't want to be on your car no more. And if you look in this one right here, which would have been the driver's side tail light, there is absolutely no plastic clips left to hold the honeycomb and I was about to lose it. So I'm glad I noticed it. And then that's what got me thinking. I took the bumper off and I realized this one's missing all of them too which would have sucked to lose the honeycomb with the exhaust tip because that is not, not cheap to replace. So glad I caught that early on. And then this side was actually held on by this little piece of wire from the previous owner because he didn't want to replace it and do it the right way. Um, it's got one plastic clip here. That one's broke. And then this side, look, that one's about to break. And then it's got this one right here. So yeah, the entire skeleton in the rear bumper was toast. Well actually, let's call it burnt toast because the heat from the engine just made everything brittle and crack. And so yeah, no bumper right now. I mean technically I could still mount the bumper on the car, it just wouldn't have any of the honeycomb vents underneath the taillights or by the exhaust. And I feel like that would almost look worse than just not having the full bumper on. I. That's just my opinion. Now to give all of you a little bit of inside information if this ever happens to you, if you call Lamborghini and ask for this part or you look on Scuderia.com anywhere and you try to find it, they will only sell you the entire rear bumper with the skeleton built in and then you'd have to get the bumper painted to match the car which in this case would have been very hard because in the sun you guys can tell this is a very pearly car. So I didn't want to go that route. Plus, the price to do that is $3,000, not counting paint, just to get all these clips back because Lamborghini will not sell you just the skeleton. However, there is a company in Poland 
making just the piece I need, which is the skeleton I already talked about. And they're making me a new one of those, but the problem with that is it's about two to three weeks to build it. And then it is about another week to 10 days to ship it since it's coming from Poland. But as soon as I get that, I can take out that rotten shell, put in the new one, and then put the bumper back on with all the honeycombs, and the car will be 100% back to normal and it'll be done the right way. There is even a plastic cover that goes back here and hides you know, a lot of the stuff. It's all vented, it looks really nice, and it has a little hole for the dipstick. I did end up ordering one of those because for the same reason, the age of the car and over time with the heat, it got brittle and cracked as well. So just a quick little FYI. If you were following me on Instagram, which will be placed right here, you would have known that all of this was kind of happening behind the scenes. So if you want to see more stuff like that, go drop a follow. Speaking of Instagram, I actually just recently did a post asking what we should name the car and whatever comment got the most likes is the name we would end up going with. Well, that comment ended up being, drum roll please, the Lamborghini. You get it? Because it's a Lamborghini. My name's Bug, the channel name's Bug. So from now on, we will be calling this the Lamborghini. I am contemplating on changing up the wheel color. Right now they are just a gloss black, which does however pair very nicely with the yellow on the car. I do think though, change is good and it would be fun to change up the color and you know, where we have our own powder coating facility, the color options and the things we could do are unimaginable. Right now though, I am thinking of doing an illusion violet which I will throw up on the screen, or a baby blue. I feel as if either of those would go really nice with this car. Since we just landed on the wheel topic, um, I figured that's a great time to introduce the new wheels for the channel. Oh my, these boxes are huge. I owe a ginormous, huge shout out to my mother. The day these got delivered, I was not home, so she carried these boxes, each one of them. And remember, these, these wheels, they're, they're big, they're awkward, they're not easy to move around. She carried each box from the semi-truck into the garage by herself. So again, you guys, huge shout out to my mom. Her Instagram name will be right here on the screen. Um, if you want, you can go spam her and say thanks for grabbing the wheels. Before we go through and unbox all of these, which I could probably use a hand, this is ginormous. Um, I did a video, it was one of my first couple videos that really took off. It, I think right now we're sitting at 2.6 or 2.7 million views, which I still cannot believe. Like, it's insane. Anyways, that video is where we took the Honda Accord and we put the wheels and tires from my last truck, which were 24 by 16s with 37 inch tires. We put them on that Honda Accord, we drove around it, and it was a lot of fun. The only problem I felt and realized doing that video is the car was only front wheel drive, and it just wasn't enough giddy up and go. I mentioned in that video, if we got, um, it was 50 million likes. You know, I was kind of just throwing it out there, just kidding, but I was still thinking it. If we got 50 million likes on that video, I would put the same wheels and tires on a Lamborghini. Well, this was, you know, like, three or two months ago. I didn't even have the Lamborghini at that time. So you know, I was kind of just dreaming, having some fun. Well, the video it ended up getting, I think, 50,000 likes. So not 15 million, but it did 50,000, which is an unbelievable, crazy number, especially for how many like subscribers I have. I'm still a really small channel. Um, but it, it kind of like, it really got me thinking, well, now I have the Lamborghini and now I have these wheels. Ooh. So these wheels are for my SEMA truck I am building this year. It is my 2017 Ram. Um, we're doing like a 10 to 12 inch lift on it with these wheels and these things are huge. But I figured if I put the last set of wheels and tires I had on a Honda Accord, I could put these on the Lamborghini. Um, however, we would need a ridiculous amount of likes to like really show me that you guys would want to see it like I'm not just saying 
10,000 likes like normal or 50,000 likes even. Like this is some real serious business. A lot can go wrong and there would be so, so much at risk because the car, if anything were to fail or break, which I'm sure it would, putting these big of wheels on it, it would just happen. So we need a huge number of likes to show me you guys are serious and want to see it. So I'm going to say if we get, uh, you know, a lot of channels can easily bring in 200,000 likes. If we can reach 200,000 likes, which if we don't, then it is what it is. But if we do, or if it takes a few months, that's fine as well. But 200,000 likes, I will slap these on and after I unbox them and you guys see them, you're gonna be like, dude, you are crazy. And you're right, I am. Yeah, that's the deal. 200,000 likes and if I can get a big sponsor for the video just to help me feel comfortable about knowing that something's going to break on the car and it'll probably be really expensive to fix. If I get a big sponsor and I can cover that, then great, that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, I think that'd be very interesting. It would definitely break the internet. Like no one's done something that crazy um, and there's a reason for it. Now you guys already know this. If you have been following my channel, I really like going with the best of the best and you know the best price as well that is why if you're watching this right now you will see the Fittipaldi off-road or the new wheels I went with and yes these bad boys are forged all right you guys ready to see how gnarly these are oh my gosh this is insane I hope you guys are all ready oh my oh they're beautiful Literally everything I could have hoped for. Wow. Talk about light. That or I'm just getting a lot stronger. As you can tell, I went with the forged, polished look. And then these are 20 by one inch wide because all of you guys made fun of my last wheels for being too wide. So I definitely made sure I did what you guys wanted to see because um, you know it's, it's your guys' truck, not mine. So I went with a one inch wide will so there will be no stance on this it'll actually be negative stance it'll go underneath the truck wow i cannot wait to get these things mounted ah, psych you guys this is the actual wheel yeah talk about wide i now introduce to you the new wheel setup we have a 26 inch yep Clean your ears, get that earwax out so you can hear me again. 26 inch by a 16 wide forged wheel that is going to be wrapped in a 40 inch tire. I told you guys we are not whatsoever messing around. And I just have to say, to fit up all the off-road, you guys, you guys need to calm down. You're gonna like kill the wheel game like too fast. Just look at the design of this wheel it is so sharp so classy and like honestly just looking at it right now it makes me speechless I am being 143 percent serious when I say this if fit up all the off-road wheels does not slow down on their wheel designs oof, they are going to literally take out the entire wheel industry because these dudes are killing it with how their wheels look and the actual quality of these wheels I have to say huge huge shout out to fit up all the off-road wheels I'm like my mind is blown that someone could come up with such a good looking wheel like look at that yes I requested the wheels to come raw because I will be polishing the barrel and then all of these top spokes will be polished as well and then every spoke that is sitting beneath it will be a copper and then all of the um, engraved letters saying Fittipaldi around the lip will be copper as well and then the lip itself will be polished. So I'm going to spend a lot of time in making these really detailed in the powder coat and the polishing so they really look good on the truck. And you know what? The packaging they send you is nice. They have foam over all of the lips front and back and then they had some real hard styrofoam on the top and the bottom of the wheel. And then they even had this covering the wheel. 
So Fittipaldi um, off-road actually had this covering the wheel. Um, I'm not sure why because uh, obviously that's not what it's for. I do want to say like big thanks to you know hooking out up with a free shower cap because my hair is getting longer which means I don't want to wash it anymore because it takes up too much shampoo and conditioner. So again you guys another reason to buy their wheels is they send you free shower caps. I do have one of the four tires that will be getting mounted on these 26 by 16 wheels. Now my last setup you guys talked a lot of smack on because the tires apparently weren't big enough or they weren't wide enough and you guys didn't like the stretched look. Well you guys are not not going to have to worry with this next setup. Um, this is the tire I am going with. It is a one inch wide and then it is about a three inch tall so it is going to be a little tricky getting it to fit on this wheel but you guys know me I will make it happen um, there probably will be just a little bit of tire stretch around the wheel I'm honestly you know it probably won't be too bad getting that stretched on I will need a little bit of ether and some fire but I think we can we can make that fit all right you know what I'm thinking yeah that's what we're gonna do right now we're going to take these and we're going to mock them up against the Lamborghini to give us an idea on what and how ridiculous it would actually look. everyone we have the Lamborghini out we have the 26 by 16s up against it to kind of give us an idea on what it would look like if we were to put them on and of course it have 40 inch tires so it'd be even bigger but just for an idea now my brain is just blown wow I don't even know what to think look at how ridiculous this looks the 2616 is almost the same height as the fender it would be if it had tires on uh, wow and then we got it in the back it actually looks pretty freaking sweet if you ask me it makes me want to do this even more and actually make this happen but look at how wide those would hang out and then plus we'd have to build spacers and adapters so we'd be able to turn which would make them hang out even wider and the wheels like the whole design fits the car so well because not only is there Fittipaldi off-road Fittipaldi started out as making car wheels and they have this exact same wheel in a Lamborghini and these are going on my truck so these would look good on the Lamborghini or my truck that's that's what the cool thing about these I just can't believe how wide and how far these hang out these make my last wheels look freaking puny and I just I hope the camera is just doing justice and showing you guys how massive these wheels truly are again huge thanks to fit a the off-road you guys are killing it so yeah don't forget if this video reaches 200,000 likes and I can get a giant sponsor for a video we will throw the tires on these wheels and then get custom spacers to mount them on the Lamborghini and we will completely break the internet but remember we got to get the likes and I got to get a sponsor on board just in case anything on the car decides to you know just grenade itself huge ginormous shout out to fit all the off-road wheels for coming out with the best looking wheels if you guys have not definitely check out the links down below that'll take you to their website and you can see a bunch more crazy good looking styles that they have to offer other than that it is going to be a wrap for today's video. I truly do hope every single one of you viewers enjoyed watching it. If you did and have not yet, go down below and leave a giant thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you think. Should we, you know, go a full send and put the giant wheels and tires on? I, th I think we should as long as we can get everything to line up right for it to make sense. But other than that, I love you all. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, 
and I will see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the post notification bell on so you can be up to date on future videos and when the day comes and we do put those on, you definitely don't want to miss it. Other than that, your boy bug is out. Peace.